Hello, welcome to join the Summit Cloud training session. We will introduce the functions listed in Summit Cloud one by one. Let's start. First, how to register to be a partner? Please enter the partner.summit.com. Go to register. Enter the corresponding content for the fields on the registration page and go to register. You need to activate the account from the mailbox you left on above. Activate your account from the mailbox. If you are using a free webmail and you did not receive an email, you need to check your spam or trash folder to locate the email. Log in to Porno Platform after the activation and then improve the relevant company information. Save and wait for the notification email after Sami's audition completed. If you are registered in overseas account, you can skip full verification step. Sami will assign the appropriate role for you when auditing. It will take one working day. After received audit notice, you become our partner formally. Sami will assign role to each partner while they register an account. You can contact us to get more information. We have three different types of partner right now. First, channel partner primary account. You can invite your customer to become new partner and each summit device will be bound with a partner account when it be sold. You can develop your app for summit devices. Manage an app store by yourself. Choose apps that you want to appear on the app store and upload apps. Also, you can implement some customized features for your devices through summit cloud. Second, Channel Partner SAP Account You can develop and adapt your app to Summit devices. Manage an app store by yourself. Choose app that you want to appear on app store and upload apps. For those apps they uploaded to the app store do not need to be verified by Summit. Also, you can implement some customized features to your devices through Summit Cloud. SAP Account had two kinds of type. Corporation SIP account and control SIP account. We will introduce the differences later. Third, app developer. You can develop and adapt your app to Summit devices, upload app to Summit library. Any user can download and install this app. Summit OS has built-in app store. Developers can use the market to distribute their own apps to Summit device. Next, we will introduce the flow of app uploading, app update, and grayscale update. First, uploading app. The developer can upload the apps to the App Store on the cloud, so that some users can search for the app in the App Store on the device. When the app is uploaded, it supports the distribution area, mainland China, Hong Kong, Macau, Taiwan, and overseas. App charging model free or pricing, and app availability, only for this channel or all channels. Tap Development, My App, click or drop the APK which you want to upload to the cloud. After the APK is uploaded, the package will be automatically analyzed in the background. The package name and version number are displayed at the top of the page. The developer then fill in the app name, app profile, app type, model, app screenshot, country, information such as region, shelf, and notes. App introduction. Please briefly describe the usage for your app here. Please enter more than 10 words. App terminals. Please make sure you have selected models you want to deploy your app to. App screenshots. Please upload at least three screenshots of your app. Please press power key and volume down key at the same time. Then you can get the screenshots on the devices. Country or region. If your location is not China, remember to choose other. If you only choose China, then only devices in Chinese language could see this app. Normally, we recommend you to select all these three options. Shelf area. If you want your app to be private, which means only devices under your account can see this app. Please choose Designated Channel for this channel only. And here you can add your friend channels. Then they can also access to your app in their app store. 
deploy. Sami provides great release options for customers. You can deploy and test your updated on specific devices before the official release. Please check the next part for more details. Memo here should be filled with your test username and password for your app for addition. When all fields are completed, click Next button to Next page to the price of the app. Click Preview button to preview app details and finish the process of upload app. After the app has been submitted successfully, generally requires one working days for verification. Here are tips need to be read. For non-payment devices like V2 Pro, once you upload your app to Xiaomi in your own channel, your app will appear in the App Store on the terminals under your account at the same time. Verification procedure does not affect this. Those verification procedure made by Xiaomi, and Xiaomi still reserve the right to record app if any improper information carried. For Xiaomi P series device, you must await the manual verification process completed, then you can find the app in the app list or app store. When you upload and release an app, you can also adjust the shelf range and deployment method options to great release deployment apps at the bottom of the create app page. Then this app will only appear in the app market for devices in great release deployments. This can meet the user's needs in case of rapid update app. You can also choose experienced users to try a new version in order to collect the user's views to further optimize and reduce the range of the users affected by the app upgrade. Select all channels means all the suitable devices that can download the app from the App Store. Select the designated channel on the channel only means that only the suitable devices of your channel can download this app. Select Deploy All to set the release scope of the app based on the selection of shelf scope. Select Great Release Deployment to publish the app in a small scope. Based on region and the device serial number mode, publish the app to the specific suitable device for download. If you want to put your app to a public app store, which means you can select the shelf area as all channels and deployment mode as deploy all. If you want to put your app to your private app store, you can select designated channel as for this channel only and deploy mode as deploy all. If you want to put your app to Beijing customers which on your account, you can select designated channel as designated channel only for this channel, deploy mode as great release and collect setting to add by region, select Beijing and select OK. If you want to put your app to some serial number of your devices, you can select designated channel as for this channel only and deployment mode as great release and collect setting to add serial number. If you allowed other account to use this app deployed in your private channel, you need to add that account as a friend. Then go to Destiny Channel, Others Channel, add the Xiaomi Partner Account ID in the Friend, Add Friend on the Xiaomi Cloud. The other account login partner platform in Friend, New Friends, to find friend request. When you upload app, you can choose Shelf Area, Destiny Channels, Settings. After reviewed app, your Xiaomi friend can find this app in the app list. How to claim when I get a package name repeat message? If it prompts package name repeat, it means this app has been released to the App Store. If this app belongs to your company, please contact Xiaomi and claim it. If it prompts parsing failure error when uploading APK, how to fix? There are several issues you should take into consideration. First, Please check if ARM libraries are included in the lib file. It may cause installation failures. Second, if it prompts signature exception when uploading APK, please check if the signature is included in the APK and the signature of the APK is the same as it was before. Third, make sure the signature type is only V1 and we do not support V2 type now. Fourth, if it prompt unable to upgrade,
please confirm if the uploaded version is higher than the current version. The current version means the version code. My app has been approved. Why can I see it in the app store on my device? Please check the following items. First, please make sure the devices are bound in your account. Also, you have added this app into your app list on Summit Cloud. Second, selected devices models. Did you select the correct one when you upload it? Third, selected region. Please select the region according to the practical requirements. Overseas clients like Europe, please select other. However, if you set Chinese as system language, App Store will only display apps of region mainland China. Fourth, what's the shelf area you choose? Is the device in that channel? Fifth, did you use grayscale deployment? Is your device in the grayscale list? App audit specification. First, the app of basic information standards. The app name should be the same as the name deployed on the desktop installed on the machine. App descriptions and update instructions are in accordance with actual functions. App descriptions and update instructions cannot contain illegal content that endangers national security. App screenshots provide at least three pictures. The pictures is clear and not fussy. No watermark. All screenshot must be the same direction. App memo must contain your test username and password of the app. Second, the app of functional standards. There is no crash phenomenon when the app starts and runs. The app can be installed or uninstalled normally. The app page layout is reasonable, adapt to the vertical and horizontal version of the shield. No stretching ratio imbalance phenomenon. The app function module is divided clearly, the business is smooth, and the function is complete. Third, the app of safety standards. The app of the permissions and its actual function must be matched. The app cannot consume excessive network traffic. The app does not have the characteristics of the virus code. The app does not have root code characteristics. During the app process, Pop-up window advertisements must not be frequently popped up to interrupt the user operations and affect the user experience. Fourth, financial security standards. According to the app of union pay specifications and the financial equipment shelves, the following permissions may not be applied. Upgrade app. After the verification succeed, there will be an update button at the app list in my app options. Developer can distribute their upgrade patch. The following is the process of app update. First, please go to menu, development, my app, detail. Click the upgrade button to enter the app updating page. Click OK, select the APK which you want to upload. Upgrade and discontinue the last APK version with newest version to all devices. Waiting for a while, after the new APK is uploaded successfully, fill the rest content and click Update. The length of the upgrade introduction and memo must be 10 to 1000 characters. After the new version is uploaded successfully, generally Sami needs one working day to review it. Upgrading app. Great update. Each device will upload location information when it connects to network. Clients can deploy their app by different location or serial number list. This app will be shown in those devices' app store. After a small range testing, developer can deploy the app to their devices. The following is the process of great update. First, please go to my app detail page. Second, click the Add Gray Release button, enter to Gray Release Deploy, selecting the APK that you want small scale testing. Third, select a deploy app by different location or serial number. This app will be shown in those devices' app store, and the formal version would be deployed to other devices still. Fourth, fill the rest content and collect update. Fifth, after the app has been updated successfully, Generally, it requires one working day for verification. Sixth, 
If there is a user reporting bugs in the grey update version, you can click the pause to stop the deployment. Or you can update this app by clicking upgrade to upload the new package instead. Seventh, after small range testing, you can click adjust the grey range to increase the range of deployment over the original range of grayscale. It is suitable for small range trial without any problem. Also, you can deploy the app to all your devices by clicking change to official version. The grey update version would be switched into a formal version and the last formal version would be covered. As the picture above, only one grayscale version and one official version are allowed. App management. Partners have an app store that they can manage and configure the following functions whether to allow third-party application to install, app of shelf management and control, automatic startup, default startup, and app protection. Application installation. Each Xiaomi device has built-in Xiaomi App Store. You can download and install the app you need from the App Store. If the partner does not enable allowed third-party application installation on their partner platform, the default device is only allowed to download the application through the Xiaomi App Store, and the app cannot be installed in other ways, such as Bluetooth reception, website download to install, etc. If this option is turned off, the device won't have a reject to install third apps. Please follow the steps. Click on Common in the Device Configuration window to enable or disable allow third-party application to install. Please note that this function only affects on non-financial equipment. For the sake of transaction security, P-Series equipment is only allowed to download and install applications from the Xiaomi App Store. Select apps from your App Store. Partner can select dedicated apps to be shown in the app list. Then end users can only see apps of this app list in the App Store on terminals in your account. If you want to add a new app, just search the app in the blacklist and unlock it. Automatically installation. If you want the app automatically installed on the device for all your devices, you can set it as automatic installation app, as the following picture showing. All your device will automatically download this app via Wi-Fi when you receive the push message. Device configuration. Partners can have some cloud configurations to control Google settings, printer settings, and so on to manage their terminals. Car reader settings. The data is output as keyboard input. Developers can also obtain data from the magnetic card global print effect. Parameter settings and only for the handheld devices. Only V1, V1S, P14G model supports now. Scanner setting. Our handheld device like L2, L2K, V2 Pro, P2 Pro with scanner, user can configure the scanner settings and push all devices under your account. Character set selection. Confirm the output encoding type. Prompt mode. You can choose sound or vibration prompt. Scan mode. Select the short press trigger or continuous scan code, etc. Data output mode. If you need the software to monitor the output data in the background, please turn on the output via broadcast. The types of code supported by different specifications of sweeping dock are different. What is shown here is all the types of code supported by different specifications of machines. Closing unwanted codes can speed up sweeping and you can still do restore the default. Prefix and suffix. You can add prefix and suffix on the data of your code. It only supports English letters and numbers. Please note, if the device's own setting are inconsistent with the cloud settings, the local settings will prevail. However, if the local settings are cleared, the cloud configuration will be automatically synchronized. My iBeacon. User can develop the iBeacon based on the below link and set on the cloud. Grey scale together. Due to the complexity of commercial equipment, it is still impossible for the new room to be perfect, even if it has passed the strict test and verification of Sami. Thus, we need you to participate in the process of verification.
Neuromore experienced the process of grayscale release before its full release, which aims at when the new version exposes new problems still limited, which is convenient for repair as soon as possible. Each app is your own characteristic. Only you can verify the compatibility of your own app. Ask some cooperative partners to experience new functions and value-added services with priority. We recommend that you divide the equipment into different phases to upgrade according to the risk tolerance. Some you will push a new room based on your configuration. Automatic upgrade at night. Automatic upgrade at night is the new function which can set Xiaomi devices to do automatic OTA updates. Customers can set this function for certain or all devices on cloud. Then devices can download OTA package and auto upgrade during system time 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. via Wi-Fi or Ethernet. We set automatic upgrade at night function off as default. When off, even if some team released the important pack in their system, devices still do not upgrade at that time. Automatic installation prompts. This option is on as default. Before device does auto install upgrade and reboot at night, it will have a countdown 20 minutes prompt to notice user to choose upgrade immediately or remind it again after 30 minutes. If this option is off and device already downloads OTA package, and still is running, it will auto-install and reboot to upgrade during 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. and no more prompts. Upgrade message prompt is default on, and after the upgrade is done, device will have a prompt in the notification bar. If off, there's no prompt to notice users. Automatic upgrade at night function can work fine based on OTA app, and the version is 3.1.2 or higher. If you have upgrade approval function in your account menu, so please enable the automatic upgrade at night function first, and then you can do the setting in the upgrade approval, like gray release and all release for devices. Common. First, install by third app. This will allow installation of APK files directly on your devices, outside of any app store. Second, hardware housekeeper. The main function of the test item is the cache driver switch test. The cache box instruction is is 16, 20, 0, 0, 0. And for the table devices, debug protect turn on. The system must be authorized by your debugger before ADB. Other, if you need Google service or related apps, please check the settings. System customization. You can implement some customization features of your devices through Xiaomi Cloud. It helps business enrich the customer's experience by customizing boot animation, launcher, app store banner, default boot method, default startup and kiosk mode, boot animation customization. By selecting custom mode, you can use the picture making rule or zip making rule to set up the boot animation and apply it to your devices. DIY. You can upload custom launcher to replace the default Xiaomi launcher for your devices. But you need to add this code in your APK to set as launcher. Wallpaper DIY You can upload custom image to set as default wallpaper for your devices. By widget. Partners can also customize desktop widgets according to business needs and highlight the display of business apps on the desktop of the device. The widget is only for use with Xiaomi Desktop and only supports P1. Default input method. You can set a third input method, what upload in your app market, as system default input method on your devices. Default First. startup. For each model, you can select one app that will automatically start after the device power on. You can set different automatically start app for a specific model. The app will automatically start when the device reboot. Once you set your app as default startup, it cannot be removed from your terminals after installation. Kiosk mode. If your app set as kiosk mode, the navigation bar and the status bar would be hidden and disabled, filtering dialog and notice by other app automatically. Please note that no navigation bar in kiosk mode. Remember, your app have a back button. After you set your app as kiosk mode, Please restart your devices to make it take effect. 
P-series device doesn't support kiosk mode. Super permission. This function can let your application to get some higher system permissions to promote user experience. For each system permission function, you can read each option inside. If you need to configure super permissions for more apps, please contact us. Application lock. A partner can also limit app to use by the password on the Summit Cloud. If you set application lock for an app, then the end user need to input a 4-byte password when he or she wants to access to this app. Data Center To further manage the use of the machine, collect and analyze the usage data, we provide functionalities for partners to query machine usage. My Machine Information of all machines linked to account can be located in My Machine option. User can search or export information. Equipment Examination you can check the device hardware on the POS Steward app in the device, and then device will upload the test report to the Summit Cloud automatically. You can find your logs here. My data count. My data count can help you collect app usage data and view the mobile data usage of the device under your company account. Active machine. Active Machine can help you record quantity and models of active devices by time. Active Devices Overview Device Active Chain Quality chain of active devices can be checked by day, week, month, and can be compared with different condition, models, and time range. Just tap Add Condition if more conditions needed. Active Model Distribution Activation Statistics Activated Device Overview in this option, user can check total quantity of activated devices under this account and also check quantity of activated devices yesterday, last 7 days, or last 30 days. Please note that data will be only recorded one time if a device is activated more than one time in the last 7 days or 30 days. Activated Devices Chain Quantity chain of activated devices can be checked by fixed time, dynamic comparison, and can be compared with different conditions. Just tap Add Condition if more conditions needed. Retained Machine User can check rate or quantity of active retention and activation retention by time or model. Machine Map the machine can be positioned to the current geographical location by the network or GPS, and the channel partner can check the distribution of their machines. Steps Tap Data Center, collect machine position. Please note that the Summit device can locate the current geographical location through mobile network, Wi-Fi, or GPS, and synchronize the collected data to Summit Cloud. If you see the message, Sorry, there is no device here. While using the machine map, the following reasons are possible. First, the device is not bound to your partner account. Second, the device is not activated for use and cannot obtain the device location. Third, there is a delay in obtaining the location information of the device. Please review it after a period of time. App Analysis App analysis can help user record the quantity of the device's installation applications uploaded, including application version distribution and version model distribution. Device lifecycle Partners can check the date of delivery and activation of their equipment and keep track of which devices have been activated and the warranty period of the equipment. The warranty period for some equipment is calculated from the activation date or 30 days from the date of shipment, and the time point reached first is taken as the actual warranty period starting time point. Device application Here is to view the current installed app information of the machine. Collect on the right current installed app. It provides the name of the specific app. Device information Collect device information to view the current device usage, such as printing distance, each device cut number, and the cache drawer opening number. Data subscription. After creating a subscription task, the system will send a data file as an attachment to the specific email address according to the sending frequency. Storage statistics. Here you can check the ratio of used space on your device. Remote assistance. Remote assistance relies on the Summit Partner platform 
and the partners can manage the company's equipment remotely under the account. For each device can view the basic information of the device, such as model, geographic location, version information, installed application list, set the switch situation. It can remotely control the devices that need to be supported and provide support and assistance on the Panda platform's real-time viewing of the device's desktop, exchanging information with each other, and saving travel time and expense for partners. Through the equipment map to grasp the distribution of channel equipment in a specific region, according to business needs to carry out marketing activities. Please note that the number of online devices depends on whether the device upgrades to the latest system and whether the device uses Wi-Fi network. Remote Management Click Remote Management below Remote Assistant option to browse configuration information of the remote machine, as well as the device performance, network status information, installed app and general settings of the machines. And after updating the remote control version, we support remote to do batch operation like uninstall apps, power off, restart on all devices, remote control. Please ensure remote assistant application is installed in device first. Starting control request on partner website, device will agree the request without any option automatically in 5 seconds if unattendant is on. Device will agree the request without any operation automatically in 5 seconds if unattend is on. Device will reject the request without an operation automatically in 30 seconds if unattend is off. Here is what you can see on partner website if connect successfully. Clear password. If end user forgets the screen password, clear password can help out this situation. Please ensure line cable is connected for desktop devices and SIM card insert in mobile devices. Lock device. User can set password available in 7 days or 30 days and key in message displayed on screen of device if device is stolen. Device can't be entered without correct password. Geofence. Geofence uses a virtual fence to enclose a geographic boundary. User will receive a trigger fence notification email if devices leaves a particular geographic area set. Several parameters need to be set to ensure a better operation of geofence before entering this function module. Enable GPS, position collection frequency, and device lock trigger. User can create geofence when settings down. Account overview. User can review valid period of package and available time of each item. Package purchase. Order management. Order list and invoice list is recorded here. Remote record. User can check all the usage history of remote service package in details in this option. Privilege management. User can set remote permissions for different operators. Operations of remote management by list or by serial number are available. Strategy Manage You can set a running rule for a particular device or group of devices. For now, only support set the APN settings and then push to all devices. In the remote management, you can also do the following things on the device. You can set files, get log, do remote ADB, send messages to power off or reboot the device. Here the end user can share feedback to you via the remote assistant app. Separate account. In order to meet the management needs of partners for complex relationship such as coordinate institutions or branches and distribution types of customers, partners with main account permissions can add separate accounts to achieve hierarchical management or collaboration based on business requirements in the separate account page. There are two types of separate accounts. First is Control Sub Account. Control Sub Account is fully controlled by the master account of the partner account and be able to carry out all custom functions management. The master account for the sub account to assign management rights, the application of the market, and other customized content group management provide the operator account to the partner collaborate on the management of the sub account. Sub accounts do not need to be registered through invitations. 
the master account facilitates the rapid creation of controlled subaccounts. The other one is cooperation subaccount. Cooperation subaccount is applicable to channel distribution type customers, can create customer relations on their own, easy to assign machines to all your customer when shipped. All custom functions of sub accounts are controlled by the sub account administrator. How to add a controlled sub account? The main account can be used to quickly create a controlled sub account in the background. No need to invite registration. Do not need to fill in the enterprise information. The steps to create a controlled sub account are as follows Collect my sub account on the sub account page. Collect add control subordinate. Fill in the required information and click save to finish. How to use controlled SAP account for management? The controlled SAP account is used for the main account to directly control the various functions of the SAP account and does not require the administrator of the SAP account to log in. Controlled SAP accounts do not have a cloud login password and account. The default is to switch to the SAP account management through the to manage function of the main account. If you need employees of a SAP coordinate organization or branch office to assist in the management of the SAP account's equipment, you need to add an operator for the SAP account and assign corresponding management rights. Then let it use the operator's account to log in to the background to help manage the device functions assigned to the SAP account. Please note that the control SAP account does not have the permission to upload apps. If the SAP account needs to upload an app, you need to register another account of the Summit Cloud for uploading the app. The app release range must be all shelves. Then, the operator or the SAP account provided by the main account logs in the cloud and then the app is included in the app store of the SAP account. Functional configuration of controlled SAP accounts The main account can set the configuration of the app store for the control type SAP account and click settings of the right operation of the control SAP account to set it. We have four ways to manage the control SAP account app store. First, fully customized app store. That means the SAP accounts can select any apps that have been uploaded in the Summit App Store. Second, copy the apps from the parent account. This means the apps in the SAP account should always be consistent with the parent account, including automatic installed apps, and apps are limited in parent account. The app list of SAP account can't be able to operate and manage. Third, Choose from the parent account's app store. That means the SAP accounts select apps from the parent account, including the apps that are restricted to the parent account channel. Fourth, parent account set up app for SAP accounts. The SAP account app store was totally set by parent account. The apps contains restricted apps in parent account channel. App list of SAP account cannot operate and manage just for display. Convert the control SAP account into a cooperative SAP account. Summit Cloud provides the SAP account identity conversion function, allowing the control SAP account to be converted into a cooperative SAP account, and the back office management authority to cooperative SAP account. After the conversion, it can no longer be switched to control type SAP account. Cooperation SAP account. Cooperation SAP account is applicable to channel distribution type partners, which can create customer relationships on their own. It is convenient to assign machines to SAP accounts at the time of shipment. All SAP account customization functions are controlled by the SAP account administrator. How to add the cooperation SAP account? When the main account adds a cooperator SAP account, it needs to fill in the administrator's email address of the SAP account. Invite the cooperative SAP account to complete the subsequent email activation account and set the password. The steps for creating a cooperative SAP account are as follows. First, collect at the cooperation subordinate, fill in the required information and collect the save to complete the SAP account creation. Notify your cooperating SAP account administrator to complete the subsequent email activation account and set the password. If the SAP account has been activated, the status will show normal. If the SAP account is not activated, the status will show waiting for registration. Second, activate the SAP account from the mailbox. Click the login button to open Partner Platform website. 
Then use the SEPA account and initial password to log in and modify the password. Third, the corporation SEPA account is to fill in the full account information, including the business license, and submit it to SAMI for account verification. The corporation SEPA account for management. Logging to the partner platform using the SEPA account. Corporation SEPA account can manage all the devices located to their channels independently. Also, you can add operators to assist management. Device ownership. In order to meet the management needs of partners for complex relations, you might set up sub-accounts for each sub-coordinate and binding the devices which are shipped to the sub-coordinate so that they can manage their app store and devices through Sami Cloud. Sometimes, you may need to transfer your device to your customer or some independent partners. You can transfer it on device presentation by yourself. Device bindings. For a new device, only Sami can bind it to a specific account. If you want to transfer devices from your account to your SEP account or your friend's account, you can use options in this menu. The operation is for binding devices to your SEP account. Also, we provide batch bindings function. When the operation is done, your SEP account can find the devices in data center, my machine on their account. Here you can do the batch binding. Device presentation. This function is based on Sami friend. So you need to add another Sami account as friend at the beginning. Add the Sami partner account ID in the friend. Add friend on the Sami cloud. The other account login partner platform. In friend, new friends to find friend request. Then you can transfer the device to friend. And the receiver will get the device in the device ownership, gift and acceptance record. Please note that if the receiver doesn't receive the device, the device will be in the frozen state. It may affect some function in the Sami cloud, gift and the acceptance record. All the devices presentation and acceptance will be recorded in this option. Account Center Collect Account Center, you can modify the basic information of your account and the related security settings. Company Information Personal Information How to replace your registered email address. Here you can replace it. How to change your password. Go here. My Feedback Operator Add the operator. The My Operator function is only visible to administrator accounts. After an administrator logs on to the partner platform, an operator can be added to this page to assign different administrator rights to different operators and to allow the operator to assist in managing the company's equipment within the company channel. Here are the steps. First, click Account Center, My Operator, Add the Operator. Second, enter the operator's email address and name and complete the adding step. The email address serves as the operator's login account. Click Select Permissions to assign the operator permissions. Third, as shown below, the new operator is assigned app list and remote management functions. Fourth, the operator login to the completed email address to find the add operator notification email. Click on the link to activate the account and set login password. Please note that if you have previously logged into the Sami Cloud account, please log out first and then open the email and select collect activate account to set operator login password in the newly opened web page. Fifth, adding the operator step is completed. The operator can log into the partner platform account via email to assist in managing the Sami devices. Sixth, when the operator log into the Sami Cloud for the first time, the system prompts you to bind the phone number. After the mobile phone number is bound, the operator can log in through the email address or mobile phone number and can retrieve the account password through the verified mobile phone number even if the password is forgotten. Or you can skip this phone binding process. Delete operator. If you need to delete one of the operator accounts, you can use the administrator account to log into the Sami Cloud and remove the corresponding operator account in My Operator. Change of administrator rights. Administrators can also transfer administrator privileges to other operators and let this operator change to be new administrator. The original administrator will become the operator role. 
Please register the account and go through all the functions. If you have any other questions, please contact Sami.